Breakdance? Ah. Oh. What a mess. <laughs> What's going on everybody? So before we get into the 6S run, um, I wanted to let you guys know that the stock servo like just went out. Like I went to go out to do the 6S run today. Um, I had it on the bench. I always test the RCs on the bench before I go out just to make sure everything's working right because I have just grabbed my RCs left so many times and had some kind of problem. So I do this every time now. Test, make sure everything's working correctly. I always bring tools now as well. But yeah, so for some reason, this Ace RC um, DS1510MG uh, servo, like literally just went out. It was working when I turned the RC off after the 4S bash, turned it on and it is literally, it was locked up and dead. It wouldn't move, the trims wouldn't work or anything. So I grabbed one of my old servos I had laying around. As you can see, I tore this down quite a bit. I actually tore it down more than I needed to, um, but it's not all that complicated to work on this thing. It is kind of a pain in the butt because everything's stacked on each other, but it's only a few screws here and there. Um, I haven't got into any of this stuff over here like where the motor is or anything so we'll see how that goes but as far as this I mean it was like eight screws not a huge huge deal but I am putting in this brushless Evo T2 uh, from Trackstar servo I'm putting this in and this should have plenty of torque to turn any tires I put on this thing this thing has this ridiculous amount of torque I've already hooked it up to the ESC. Here, I'll just show you guys real quick. Turn the transmitter on. Turn that on. And check that out. It's just going to freak out on me. But yeah, um, so that's going to go in there. And I will get the 6S bash going. Sorry about this, but I do think before I take it out, I am going to do these aluminum caps. Because... I know I haven't popped a cap yet, which is awesome. And I just really don't want to deal with one of these caps popping off. It's a huge problem on these and the team associated rival. For you, those of you who do not know, uh, team associated and Thunder Tiger are basically the same company. Um, so I am going to put these caps on. I got four for the front and four for the rear. I think the total cost was about 20 bucks to my door. I ordered these before I even ordered this and they just got here today. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to leave the stock oil in there because the suspension does seem to work well. I do have a set of tires for this as well. There you go. I got the backflips, which somebody, uh, somebody actually suggested to me. But I already bought them for this because the backflips are awesome tire. Very, very good tire. They come on the Arma Outcast. But yeah, I'm going to get this thing put back together and I'll take it out for the 6S bash. All right, everybody. So we're on 6S. Yes, 6 beat 6S. All right, so I did do the shock caps. It was pretty easy. I got the uh, new servo in there, the Evo T2 servo, so we'll see how that does. I'm running all stock gearing, still got the stock tires on it. The only other thing I did was put some Gorilla Tape on the body where the body posts are because it was getting a little beat up. All right, let's start bashing it. All right, so I do want to say that I'm running two 3300 milliamp hour 50c discharge lipos because those battery trays are long but not very tall so i didn't have a decent sized pack to put in there so we'll see how much runtime we get out of these oh a little bit of power just a little bit i probably should have loosened up the slipper clutch but i didn't
Yeah, this thing gets it. That was about half throttle. This thing gets it. <laughs> this thing, even with these chromey tires, can uh, do a wheelie at pretty much will on 6S. <laughs> it's like quarter throttle. Oh man. So it's been raining a little bit, so I thought it'd be pretty perfect to come out here today. It is a uh, little windy though, so we'll see. Kind of nervous that I didn't put any slip on in that slipper clutch because that direct drive is is pretty gnarly and 6s. I think I will be okay though, because these tires don't grip very well at all. So I should be okay. But. <laughs> That's like quarter throttle. This thing is a beast. Like I said, that ESC and Motor combo or no joke. Just shrubbery. They are no joke. That combo is amazing. Well, it's got the power to adjust itself in the air now, that's for sure. Ah. Almost impossible to drive though. I'm just going around and pretty much quarter throttle. And it is quite the handful. Suspension seems to be working very nicely though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about a backflip with these tires. Right, dancing. <laughs> it was able to do the backflip, I just wasn't able to land it. Steering trim going on here. Golf ball. Now it's going way that way. Might have to adjust the toe a little bit or something. Whoa. <laughs> All right, come on. That was my first backflip attempt in quite a while. So. Let's see if we can get another one, do a little bit better. The brakes are really strong too. There we go, that was a little bit better. Still not that pretty, but better. Ah, oh, these tires, man. Can't wait to put the other tires on. Make this thing a different truck entirely. Ooh. 
<laughs> ah, the power, the power, power, power. This thing has power for days. And apparently it's got durability for days too. <laughs> Thankfully, because it does like to nosedive. Alrighty, well, it is getting the durability test for sure. And so far, it seems to be passing. Hey! Thank you, Bushes, for the assist front flip. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I miss this, everybody. This is what I missed. Jeez, I can't believe I took that much time off. This is so much fun. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever been happier to do the, oh, bumper's gone. The walk of shame, where'd it go? You're somewhere around here, I know it. Well, I guess the bashing gnomes ate it. You would think it'd be right here. I don't, maybe it's stuck up in the chassis somewhere. No? Oh well. Front bumper's gone. Might mess up our weight distribution. <laughs> ah, this thing is a nutball. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yes. Check that out. I found it. <laughs> cool. Well. That was horrible. <laughs> And those brakes are strong. I need to tone it down. Just being mean to this thing now. It really, really, really likes to nosedive. Maybe it's just like how I'm hitting these jumps. Uh, tires are terrible. Like I said, I can only get about a quarter throttle. That was a nice backflip. <laughs> Barely got that one. Didn't want to overdo it and I almost underdid it. <laughs> Overdo, underdid. I am pretty surprised, I'm going to say, already at the durability of this thing. 
Just losing that front bumper is no big deal. And this thing is taking a wallop. Look at that, a wallaby. <laughs> you guys miss me. <laughs> On my random comments. Look at that, Jack. Nice little wallaby. Should wrestle it down. Quarter throttle, driving like a maniac, because it gets absolutely no tra oh. traction. I wonder why the front spins still. Seems kind of weird to me. Oh, the rear spins independently too. But they definitely spin together. Uh, yes. Can't wait to do the tires. Get a nice 4S run, 6S run. See if we break anything. And then we'll take it to the, the rock quarry. I wanted to try to make that look smooth and these tires just ain't gonna let me. I do not believe. All right, going A throttle maybe. Still wasn't smooth looking at all. That's cool, that's cool man. Just do what you do. EMTAG2, do what you do. Ugh, I can't give it any throttle. Oh, I lost it. There you are. <laughs> Can't even just simply turn around. It's like quarter throttle. Quarter throttle. Quarter throttle. Quarter throttle. Quarter throttle. Baby step. Baby step. Baby step. Baby jumps. Break dance? Ah. I reckon I almost hit myself. Took myself out at the legs like. I am super surprised at how long these batteries are lasting, by the way. Seems like it's been a pretty decently long bash. I've but when you can't give it any throttle, I mean, that's probably partially why. Hey, exactly like I meant it to happen. Oh, LVC. Well, that was the EMTA G2 on 6S with the stock tires. As I said, the upgrades are, I did have to replace the servo and I did take the bumper off. <laughs> but other than that, you know, I put the shock caps on there and everything. I think that was probably a good idea for this bash because I did bash it pretty hard. But other than taking the bumper off, um, for aerodynamic purposes this thing held together pretty pretty I am I am actually pretty uh, surprised that I didn't break anything else of course I don't know if I did any internal damage that remains to be seen but please thumb up this video if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't stay tuned to killer off-road hobbies subscribe if you're not subscribed hit that bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video and we will see you on the next one Peace.